Today's browsers have an unassuming little feature that makes life much easier for us. It replaces clutter on your desktop or on your screen, makes easy switching back and forth between web pages, and it makes your web searching more efficient. I'm talking about tabs, browser tabs, the ability to open basically new web pages in the same window of your browser so that you don't have to open a new window for each web page you want to look at or so that you don't have to as you follow one link you don't have to constantly be going backwards and forwards if you're searching going back to your search page and then following a link and then going back to your search page and following a different link you can just open links in new tabs so I demonstrated here in Internet Explorer how you would open a new tab this little box here at the on the right edge of the tabs if you look at the tooltip it says new tab and clicking on that will open a new tab another feature of the modern browser and this is true of most of the browsers is that when you create a new tab you, you get a blank page so to speak that shows a display of your most frequently visited sites. The browser kind of keeps track of your browsing and, and it counts where you've gone the most and so it keeps a current list of your most frequently browsed sites. I'm going to open the Chrome browser and similarly to what we saw here are a list of frequently visited sites that it, it populates. As you visit more sites it'll fill this in. And a new tab similar to Internet Explorer there's a tab here and on the right edge we have this little box tooltip says new tab and clicking on that opens yet another tab now I'm going to open Firefox same thing we get the favorite or most frequently visited sites popping up on display here and if we want to add a new tab in this case we have a little plus sign that draws our attention to the, the little box and clicking on that plus sign opens a new tab. One nice use of this tabs feature is that in most of the browsers you can go into the settings or preferences and usually associated with the home page setting you have the option of opening several tabs at once so that if you have several pages you'd like to visit each time you open a web browser or at least have available to you each time you open the browser you can set it up so that it opens each of those in a separate tab so you might have your email program on one a search engine on the next etc etc here in Firefox the way you would do that is click on the menu go to options go to the general tab and under the home page setting you have a button that's labeled use current pages so if you had several pages open that you wanted to go to each time you open Firefox you would click this button and it would set that list you would of course first have to open those pages or it would help similarly if we look at Chrome And we go to uh, wait for it. There we go. Settings. Sometimes I'm a little slow. The settings looks a little bit different here. And the setting is on startup. So the, one of the choices, if you wanted to, what's currently set is open the new tab page, and that's like a clean, clean slate. But you have the choice of continuing where you were last time or always opening a specific page or set of pages so if you choose this option and you click this link you will have the opportunity to create that list of pages that you'd like open each time and you have the same option in Internet Explorer you go to Internet Explorer go to the settings Internet Options I believe Yes, home page tabs. This, in this case, you create a list by typing or copying and pasting a browser 
address, the web address, into each separate line. And that will do the same thing of opening them all as home page tabs. Turning to the Safari browser in the latest version of OS X, Yosemite, in the latest Safari browser, the tabs feature is a plus sign on the right hand end of the browser window. If you only have one tab open, the plus sign is up above the or up in the address bar. After you add a tab, you get a new toolbar below the address bar and you have your tabs that you've added. And you have control over what appears when you add a new tab by choosing your preferences. Here's the preferences window for Safari and under general preferences you have a place where you can set your home page, just one page. And then you have choices as to what will occur when you open Safari, open a new window, and open a new tab. So this is consistent. This behavior, the tab behavior, is pretty consistent across all the browsers. If you'd like personal assistance with anything related to this, please contact me through my website at www.pcaha.com. Dot com. That's P-C-A-H-H-A-H -H -H dot com. Thank you.